the time is here. We are going to the American Royal World Series of Barbecue. We are in and amongst somewhere around 535 of the best teams in the nation. And we're finally gonna measure up and see how we do in a true world championship. Not only that, but we're gonna cover how we do at the Jack Daniels in this video as well. And I assure you, there is a really cool twist in the end, so hang in there with me. But first, let's get checked. That's right, today's video sponsor is Let's Get Checked. Are you the man your father was? That's right, recent studies have shown that male testosterone has been decreasing steadily since 1980 at about 1% per year. Think about how old your dad was when you were born. If he was, for instance, 30, then your testosterone could be 30% lower than his was at that time. Low testosterone can have all sorts of health effects on men. And it's true, lower testosterone is more common in older men, but if it's something you're wondering about and it's simple and easy to get checked, why not do it? Let's Get Checked offers a multitude of testing options that you can select from the comfort of your own home that get delivered in discreet packaging and allow you to test without the hassle of going to a doctor's office. Now, if you're like me, health is one of those things you're always wondering about, especially given the diet that you've seen me eat. In my own journey to get back on the healthy lifestyle, I have a lot of different markers that I wanna check and Let's Get Checked gives me the ability to do that. Even though you see me commonly speaking to you through this camera lens, I'm really more of an introvert and to go to a doctor's office and say, I really wanna check these specific markers or these specific hormones feels like I'm bothering the doctor. And if I can order it through my computer and just have it sent to my house, have that test run and get the results back in a quick and timely manner, I'd really rather do that. And of course, Let's Get Checked is not just limited to men's health, but also a whole gambit of possible tests that you could use. And today they're giving you a 25% discount at the link you'll see here and in the description below when you use Cookout Coach at time of purchase, all caps, Cookout Coach. Their labs are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which if you're like me and you didn't know what that was until you needed to look it up, it's the highest accreditation you can get. So again, I wanna thank Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. There is a 25% discount code for you in the description below that is Cookout Coach, all caps, used at the time of purchase, 25%. If you're wondering about something, just head on over and let's get checked. The Royal, something some people call the granddaddy of them all, the biggest barbecue contest on the planet. We rolled through the tunnel with our char griller, gravity smokers in tow, set up and prepared to cook both the invitational and the open. And this is how that went. Hey everybody, so we are here at the 2022 American Royal World Series of Barbecue. Um, today is actually the open day, which means we've got over 500 teams here. Yesterday we competed in the Invitational with over 250 grand champion KCBS Pitmasters. And I'm sorry I don't have any footage for that, but I've told you guys before, filming in a competition is almost impossible unless you have a crew filming you that you just don't even know is there. Because basically you're trying to win uh, and you, you know, you've got to make a choice. Do I film or do I pay more attention to this, this food that I'm cooking? And the answer is usually pay more attention to the food. But today, you know, we're early on, we've got brisket on, we've got pork on, ribs are about to go on. So I had a little break, so I thought I'd talk to you. But yeah, so basically in the Invitational, we, we didn't do so hot. We, we knew one of our entries wasn't going to be good. We knew chicken, it just, it wasn't that great. Our other three entries we felt really good about though. There was no shame in what we turned into those boxes. I was happy with ribs, pork, and brisket. Unfortunately, we scored pretty decent, but in this field, you need to be almost perfect to get a, a top 20 call. So we didn't get any calls last night at our first Royal. That's okay. Today, in the open, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to do it all over again. We're gonna try to do a little bit better. And we're gonna see if we can get our name called. And I'm gonna bring you along for as much of it as I can. So we'll see what happens, guys. So it's 10.59, morning of the open. Now, if you're familiar with competition barbecue, you know it's about to get hopping. And if you're not, well, now you know. 11 o'clock till the end of the day, it is all out, let's do this. So I obviously didn't show you any of the stuff we're doing in between for how I have made the different four meats, you know, pork, chicken, brisket, and ribs. But there's plenty of content on the channel if you're curious about how I do that stuff that's really, really close to what I do here. What I am gonna show you right now is when it gets hopping, I'm gonna set you up right over top of my finishing table. And that's valuable because in competition barbecue or in food in general, 
the last little bit that you do to it is really what pushes it over the top and makes it something special. So I'm going to let you see what I do to try to push my food to the next level and make those judges extremely happy with it. So stand by, strap in. I've never done anything like this before. I hope it turns out great and I hope you get a lot from it.
All right, guys, so by now you've seen what we did at turn-ins, right? That's, to me, sort of the biggest behind the curtain thing in competition barbecue. And I might have held a few things back there, um, but generally I let you know how to do. Right now we're waiting for awards. It's sort of the calm before the storm. And I've got with me Luke Darnell <laughs> from Old Virginia Smoke. If you're a podcast listener like me, you probably know him from Pitmaster and Old Virginia Smoke podcast or TikTok or there's a YouTube channel. Yeah. But if you're into competition barbecue, you probably know him from winning chicken at the American Royal last year, <laughs> winning the World Foods Championship in 2016, several things. But honestly, Luke, us both being from West Virginia, you've kind of taken it under your wing in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And coming here, you were a big part of me deciding to go ahead and make the trek out here. So I wonder if you can convey to folks, you know, why is this so special? Anybody and everybody who's in barbecue is here at the American Royal. You can be walking down an aisle and see 15 barbecue celebrities. You can see real celebrities. You can see and just the amount of people that you meet, the new friends that you make, and the family atmosphere that this contest. And I, I, I told Darren Morris from I Was Smoking D's yesterday, I said, it's just gotten to the point now where it doesn't feel like a big deal to me because it feels like I'm coming home. And because I've been in the same spot for three years and I have the same neighbors, now I have the new neighbors. Uh, which you named this area Best Virginia earlier in the week, and I mean, the same blood, same mud, you know, and yes, it only gets better. Each time you come out, it only gets better. Nice. You have more of a good time, you know what you got to go do, and you just make more friends. It's a, it's a blast. Got it. It's and what, a blast. What number royal is it for you? This is our sixth royal. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Sixth royal. Uh, last night was the Invitational Awards. Uh, we had never received a call before, so yeah, we got a call yesterday, and we finished 10th overall. 10th so. overall. In, yeah, it's fantastic. In a field of 250 grand champions, 10th overall, that's that's a big deal. Uh, it still gives me the, the willies, but I'm not going to lie. Awesome. Well, <laughs> so I didn't do so hot yesterday, but the thing I always love about a double is the chance for instant redemption, and we had it today on pretty much a stage that you can't parallel in competition barbecue with 500 and something teams right. out here. So we're getting ready to head to awards to see how we did. This is the World Series. It's the World Series. So they call it the World Series of Barbecue. This is this is the granddaddy. I mean, the Jack's awesome, special event, but it's also terribly undemocratic. This one, if you win, you can come cook both days. You can come cook this contest and not win. They open today. Yep. A lot of these teams, this is the one contest they do a year. Awesome. And if you're in competition barbecue, you have to come cook this event once. It's a bucket list item. I'm, I'm already sad about leaving. I really am. I, my body is not sad about leaving. <laughs> I sort of treat it like a, some people's bodies are a temple, mine's a tent. Uh, abuse it pretty hard, you know, but have fun and see all my friends and it's a great time. Worked hard this week, laid down a new a new track. <laughs> so it's been a busy week for sure. But this is uh yeah, it's a busy week every time and yeah, you know, there's so many ways to approach this contest and to do it. And I've done it all the ways. I've driven out here, I've flown out, I've stayed in a hotel, we rented an RV this year. You can do whatever you want. And uh, the key is to make yourself as comfortable as possible, but also to have fun and see everything that you can. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, we're going to go ahead and head to awards here. But before we do, just again, where can everybody find you at? Oh, you can find us on all the social medias, Old Virginia Smoke, Old underscore Virginia underscore Smoke on TikTok, or uh, on Instagram on TikTok, it's Old Virginia Smoke. For Facebook, it's Old Virginia Smoke. YouTube, Old Virginia Smoke, which we're going to be having a lot of new content, hopefully coming out soon. I've been working here with... Yep. with the cookout coach and getting that ready and <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh just looking forward to awards and keeping on keeping on my friend all right brother and well, i have to go ahead since this is going to go out to all your viewers to tell you how proud i am of you <laughs> uh he's come a long way and when you see a student do do well 
it really just it brings the whole thing together. So awesome. I couldn't be more happy to have you here. I, I appreciate it, man. It's been it's been quite the journey so far, and hopefully <laughs> we got a lot more to go. So hey, good luck today, man. You keep being panda. I'll keep being shifu. <laughs> Sounds good. Panda. I'll let you guys know a little bit how we did. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that because that was a lot of secrets if you watch that. We came out of the open with an 18th place call in ribs. This is our first and hopefully not our last American Royal Ribbon. Finishing 35th overall out of either 505 and 535, I'm not sure, but at that point, I also kind of don't care. I love doubles because of that ability to come back and say, you know what, I can do better day two. And then when you actually do it, man, that feels good. Now the kicker to my American Royal experience is on the way back, we had a close encounter with a beautiful Missouri nine point buck about 20 minutes into our 14 hour drive. My truck to this day is still sitting in Excelsior Springs, Missouri, but we had another world championship to get to and that was the Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational. Now, unfortunately, when I went to the Jack, I forgot to bring my camera. So I don't have any footage, but I do have stories. Do I have stories? So oddly enough, my brother-in-law was kind enough to bring his trailer with us to the Jack so we could sleep in that on site. And unfortunately, a few hours into the drive, he blew transmission lines. I can't even make this up. It's like the universe is telling me not to bring GM products to barbecue contests. Luckily, it got fixed. We got down to the Jack and the cooking ensued and Part of me is glad that I didn't have my camera because I don't think I had captured the magic of Lynchburg. But if you're curious, Tuffy Stone just put out a video covering it and did a great job. At the Jack, we entered sauce, chicken, ribs, pork, and brisket, mostly like we normally would. My whole goal in competition barbecue was to hear my name called at the Jack Daniels. I had no idea when we would get to go. I especially didn't think we would get to go our first year of competing masters. But we did get the automatic draw and when the dust settled, we ended up with a 10th place sauce call. And if you're curious what that is, while I can't give away the secret, it's basically a kicked up off X1 sauce from Cosmos Q. You know it was. But the big story to our trip, one I didn't know that I would ever get to say that I've done. We took second place brisket at the Jack Daniels World Championship. We did it on the char griller gravity 980 smoker when i tell you that smoker is one of the most incredible smokers i've ever had i'm not lying a literal world championship second place brisket on the char griller gravity 980. this barrel head was something i wasn't sure i was ever going to obtain and we got it there are few prizes in barbecue that i wanted to get more than this and i did it with my brother, my dad, my uncle, and my brother-in-law all there. That was the barbecue trip of a lifetime. We may have peaked, I don't know. We'll find out later. But in the meantime, a lot of the folks have helped me along the way to get to this point. And one of them you saw in this video, and I believe Luke has just recently started dropping more videos on his YouTube channel, Old Virginia Smoke. I'll leave a link to them down below. I can't say thank you enough to everyone that's been involved in all this and thank you for being a part of this journey. Now, if you wanna see what it was like getting ready for this a little bit earlier, hey, meet me over here. Let's go get you prepped for this event.